another hero was willing to give the ultimate sacrifice in the ongoing Intifada revolution against the Zionist apartheid settler colonizers. Matt Nelson, an anti-war activist, self-immolated in front of the Zionist consulate in Boston on Wednesday evening. The incident, which follows two other incidents previously this year, including the self-immolation of Aaron Bushnell in March, has largely gone ignored by Western media outlets, the same people who either ignored Bushnell, downplayed and swept under the rug his message, or outright dismissed him as mentally unstable. For Nelson, there was none of that, not even an article in the paper. The sources I'm using to cite this comes largely from Reddit and other low-key sites, all of which seem to have gotten some confirmation from family and friends of Nelson. Prior to this, Nelson echoed that of Aaron Bushnell, stating that he was going to engage in an extreme act of protest before adding that we are all culpable in the ongoing genocide in Gaza. We are slaves to capitalism and the military-industrial complex. Most of us are too apathetic to care. A democracy is supposed to serve the will of the people, not the interests of the wealthy. Take the power back. Free Palestine. Nelson then doused himself in petrol and lit himself on fire before being taken to a local area hospital, where he remains with serious burns. However, there has been no updates on his current condition as of this writing. Just like with Aaron Bushnell, Matt Nelson's message, his face, and his name should be spread far and wide to as many places as it can be. He must not be forgotten for his act of bravery especially now more than ever, as the only major media outlets that I could find that had reported on this was Boston's local NBC affiliate and Metro UK. The silence is deafening. With it, their lack of action is telling. After Aaron Bushnell, the Western media seems to be apprehensive or just outright refuses to talk about the protests. They do not want to tell the truth about why people are doing this, why people are self-emulating. In fact, they are blacklisting anything, it seems, to do with speaking out against the genocide. Even as I speak, YouTube is taking down videos, shadow banning people from the algorithm, and terminating whole channels that speak out about this without reasonable merit. Social media outlets like Facebook and Twitter are restricting or suspending accounts for violating terms and conditions for simply speaking out. Leftist voices, pro-Palestinian voices, are being silenced by the media while the government intimidates protesters with arrests or even with snipers pointed at their heads. They tell you it's a democracy and telling you to vote while silencing voices speaking out or completely leaving them out of the conversation entirely and abandoning them. If you're not at the table, you're on the menu. If you're not with me, then you're my enemy. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. I will do what I must. In spite of this, we must continue speaking out. We must continue to fight for justice, for liberation, for the oppressed. And Red Pagan Network will continue being that voice, reporting on stories the mainstream media won't, and providing you a truly leftist perspective that you will not get from liberal places like MSNBC. We are not funded by corporate sponsors, nor are we willing to accept them. We continue to maintain journalistic integrity while fighting the struggle of liberation for all peoples. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. Solidarity to Comrade Matt Nelson. May you make a full recovery and live to fight another day. A grateful proletariat is waiting for you. Thank you for your service. I'm Red Pagan Nicole, and this has been Red Pagan Corner. Until next time. Thank you for watching. If you like news and politics from a leftist perspective, true crime, or informational videos on leftist philosophy and pagan belief practices, and would like to support the channel, please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. Even a few bucks really helps me out. All links are provided in the description. Like, comment, and subscribe and share on various social media. Hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video. I put out content regularly, so you will always get quite a bang for your buck.